Uh, this past week, the boss of NORAD, which is the uh, North American Aerospace Defense Command, has indicated that uh, during his time as the boss there, he has uh, he's not seen any aliens. Nothing. He has. There's no proof of aliens whatsoever, according to him. And okay, I'm going to read this little article here from the uh, from the Drive. I will leave the link in the description. The headline says, I've yet to find one that had aliens, says NORAD NORAD boss about UAP. Now, for people who don't know, uh, NORAD is basically, uh, uh, it's it's a, uh, it's been around since the late, since what, 1957. And it's, it started off as the North American Air Defense Command. And then in some time in the early 80s, it changed its name to the North American Aer- Aerospace Defense Command. And it's always been known as, you know, the, by the, its acronym NORAD. Um, and it's an effort that's a combined effort be- between the United States and Canada uh, and to basically uh, uh, provide a warning system and uh, protection for Canada and the continental United States. Uh, you know, if, if if some unidentified objects, uh, you know, or you know, some enemy ob- enemy aircraft or something, where they where all of a sudden appear, right? They would be sending up their fighter jets. You know, if something like if something was to happen, you know, that that's that's who they are. So anyway, I'm going to read this article here, so you uh, we we could uh, uh, basically I want to read this article so we could I, I could talk about what this guy is saying here and what he's what he's not saying okay it says though the pentagon has changed the name and scope of the new organization tasked with overseeing united states government's growing efforts to track unidentified aerial phenomena uap the head of the north american aerospace defense command norad who was actually the guy in charge of defending america's airspace says it has been business as usual when it comes to his command's mission quote i have not changed or been asked to change any of my posture, taskings, or anything, Air Force General Glenn Van Herc, the dual had it commander of both NORAD and the United States Northern Command, told reporters Thursday during a roundtable discussion at the Aspen Security Forum. Asked by Washington Post reporter Shane Harris about whether there have been any changes in terms of homeland protection as a result of more attention being paid to unidentified aerial phenomena, as the Pentagon now refers to what we know as unidentified flying objects, Van Herc said no. The answer may seem disconnected considering the efforts the Pentagon claims are being made to take the issue seriously and to mitigate any potential risks to national security presented by UAP. Then again, the Air Force has been not- notoriously unforthcoming when it comes to the controversial topic. I, I give this article, the writer of this article, credit because this is more of a mainstream type uh, news outlet and they're they're basically calling a spade a spade saying that the air force has been notoriously unforthcoming about ufos anyway continuing van herc goes a step further stating first of all let's be clear my job as the norad commander is to identify every single uap or whatever it is van herc said what i would report to you as is i've yet to find one that had aliens or was a spaceship that we've identified okay he, then I'll, I'm going to stop there for a minute because I have some comments. Now, he's saying he NORAD has not identified anything that could be of alien origin or a spacecraft. Or I don't think that... Uh, I, I believe he's telling the truth, but I think it's... Uh, you have to think about this, though. He wouldn't have any... Anything that, that NORAD comes across that's unusual, right? That's going to get sent... That's going to be delegated to... Uh, majestic 12 or whatever the secret group that's looking into this is called right uh anything like that now some of these reports i'm sure are going to be handed to this this new office arrow right they'll, they'll be dealing with it you know for some of them they'll be studying some of them but the more the real the real strange ones the real good ones right they go to majestic 12 right or like for instance say something say some object you know is, is flying is, is spotted by norad flying you know over canada or the united states and and uh and it and it crashes you know uh okay norad's not gonna 
they're going to contact whoever that secret group is and they're going to take over so no rad this guy could say you know he, he could get he has plausible deniability because he doesn't know what's going on he has that it gets delegated to to this other group but it has to it ha would have to right there have to be there has to be a secret group out there that's looking into this that handles this situation i mean for one thing uh, and, and the other thing is, is like he's saying that, like you know, the, here, there's nothing identified as aliens. Well, it's you know, what, what's he thinks going to happen? That you know, uh, the aliens are going to if something weird shows up over in the United States, they they send they send out some fighter jets to chase after it, then it disappears. Uh, the aliens ain't going to show up at his office the next door and say, "Oh, that was us last night, sir." Sorry, that's that. So yeah, of course he has no proof himself. And again, anything that might seem extraordinary is going to get passed along. Now, let's be clear here norad i mean they've been citing things for decades this is this has been going on for decades i mean uh i mean there's 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 been reports i mean the ufo literature is littered littered with with all sorts of reports coming out of norad where they sent out jets and stuff like that chasing after objects that they couldn't catch up to an object for instance uh you know moving at incredible speeds and stopping on a dime hovering in, in place at twenty five thousand feet and then shooting up into uh, straight up in in a, in a in a in a split second to to, to an altitude of seventy five thousand feet there's there's been all sorts of things if you were to read certain books like uh ufos in a national security state that outline that those and i will leave a link for those for those books the, I, I highly recommend those books that they, they they are the best things out there uh, if you want to find out about how the government has been dealing with ufos over the decades those two books are out the, are, are like the top top by richard m dolan volumes one and two you got you got to if you don't have them and if you're, you're interested in ufos and you don't have those books uh you, you really got to ma uh, make a change and you got to get them books in your libraries but anyway continuing he's he's you know what i'm what i'm what i'm uh, trying to point i'm trying to make here is that yeah norad for, for i mean actually there was a case in in 1975 where uh the aliens actually left their calling card at uh one of the uh, norad it's, it's actually based in colorado uh but there was uh one of their bases uh the the uh, a mutilated cow a mutilated pregnant cow was actually discovered right outside of the security gate of, of norad and the sheriff's uh, office that investigated this case said it wasn't done by predators so it, it, norad is aware that there's things going on here but I, again I, I i i would have to believe that this guy is telling the truth because he probably has no need to know and anything that is involving extraterrestrials gets delegated to majestic 12 so he's actually would be speaking truth but i'll i'll continue with the rest of this article here and he continues with this with the uh with the quote here um from van herk he says if any of our norad fighters or or any assets assigned to northcom came across some type of uap we would absolutely report that he said i'm just telling you we haven't seen that van herk was questioned on the issue after the pentagon this week changed the name of its organization tasked with track tracking uaps from the unwieldy airborne object identification and management group or omsg to the more streamlined all domain anomaly resolution office arrow more, so um, there's more to this article if you want to check it out I'll, I'll leave the link but again this is uh norad <laughs> knows that things are going no, norad is uh they've been aware for decades about uh strange objects uh flying over the continental united states and canada they're most certainly aware again the, the, there's all sorts of reports out there they've been things have been spotted they, they've sent aircraft out there to try to to, to uh, find out what these things are and these things just you know they can't catch up to them because they're just too advanced obviously these things are extraterrestrial um so but again it's an interesting article uh, I, I do think the guy is, is probably being truthful because i again i don't think he has a need to know and anything that norad comes across that's strange like i said i really believe that some of these cases a lot of the cases that will be unexplained will be passed on to this new arrow group right and that will be brought those those cases will be presented to uh congress but like for instance if something were to crash right extraterrestrial right if an extraterrestrial vehicle were to crash that stuff would not be that's not going to arrow that's going to majestic 12 right that's where that's going